guys i've been going a little crazy today <laughs> but welcome back guys today is august 31st 2020 it is a beautiful monday it is also the last day of the month so we're gonna get those new month candles um but let's jump right into this today's video is about uh we're doing a podcast with my man david from two classy gentlemen guys we're gonna leave all his info in the description all right make sure to follow make sure to like his videos make sure to show him some love um that's basically it man in this podcast we just talk about cryptocurrencies and we just go back and forth about some fun stuff uh, and it's a great a great time man um appreciate you guys enjoy the video peace and love all right hey guys this is two classy gentlemen podcast i'm david on the show today again we're not gonna be talking politics today because i'm tired of it but today on the show we have jay from bitcoin.daily how you doing jay what's going on man i'm doing great how you doing today <laughs> um well since we're talking about crypto i am doing absolutely terrible because i decided to get caught up in ripple before the drop happened so other than that i'm doing relatively okay how about you? Um, I'm doing pretty good, man. Uh, I mean, today there was definitely a, a little drop, but, you know, it's uh, small compared to the big picture. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Um, but before we get into all the lovely world of crypto, because, again, I do have some questions, and you, of course, have answers because you seem to be a little bit more invested <laughs> in, in this than I do at this point. But um, where is the best place to find you on social media? Uh, so Instagram is probably where uh, I, have, I have the majority of the content, it, which is uh, at Bitcoin Daily. At, I'm sorry, at Bitcoin dot daily. Don't forget the dot. Um, and we just started uploading consistently um, this month onto our YouTube channel. So you could just search Bitcoin Daily uh, and just look for our page uh, like that. Where currently we've been dropping a new video every day for well, five days a week during Monday through Friday. Uh, which basically consists of, you know, uh, tutorials and market analysis. So if you guys are interested in that, you can check that out. Pretty good. Um, that'll all be in the description down below. And also, I know you didn't want to really plug it that much, but you do have a group as well where you guys talk and that kind of Discord type thing about Bitcoin going up. Now. Could, would you care to go a little bit into that? Yeah, definitely. So, um, so I have a Discord group. It's basically a trade group. Um, you know, what basically what it is, I share every trade I'm making live as I make it I, and I share you know my own personal opinions on the market uh, and my analysis and exact and I and my trade plans so I'm giving you I, I give the group you know my trade plan um, with my entry exactly where I'm going to enter exactly where I'm looking to set my stop loss to exit if it, it doesn't go my way you know uh, exactly where I'm gonna take profit and all of that I basically I'm very transparent with it. I give, you know, I share exact all the trades I'm taking. You know, I've been doing this for, for a few years already. So um, I've been pretty profitable. Um, so, you know, we, we do it, uh, we charge a monthly, it's a subscription, but there's, you know, uh, you can cancel any time if you don't like it or whatever. Uh, and it's all, all on Discord right now. That's awesome. And again, how, for people who would want to know the one question, how successful would you say you've been in the Discord? Uh, so this year, um, I, I think I posted it in the story in my, on the Bitcoin pit dot daily, uh, story we're up this year, the, around $34,000 in profit. Not too yeah, shabby. <laughs> yeah, not, not too bad. And, and also, uh, we also do, uh, we trade, I trade stock options as well. So, um, that's my other page profit dot daily. Uh, where I trade stock options. So this is Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. through 4 p.m. I, it's the same thing. I share the exact trades I'm making. Um, and we're also up, you know, a, a good amount there as well. So, That's yeah. Cool. So, if, guys, if, if that doesn't say anything, I would suggest getting into it. Again, that will also be in the description down below to go check that out. Um, I guess we can hop into it. I'm going to cry a lot today about Ripple because I was sadly a hodler today and just completely got demolished by the market. But um, so for people who don't know about Bitcoin, I, I know it's still a type of voodoo type thing, taboo. People still think, oh, it's a cryptocurrency. Yeah. It doesn't have anything backing behind it. Oh, it's a scary thing. It, it's what criminals use to use behind the market. And when I heard that, again, this was me back in like freshman year of college going, why would I get into that? 
And now right. I'm looking at it and I'm like, why didn't I get into that? So for people who don't know, what is the whole, I mean, what it, what is Bitcoin in a sense? I get that the, the, it's a pretty broad question, but like in a sense, dumb it down for people like me. Yeah. So, I mean, in, in the whole idea of Bitcoin is, is just a, a way to kind of uh, take the power of your money away from the government. Um, that's basically the whole idea behind it. Uh, it was created back in 2008 by an anonymous person uh, that we like to call Satoshi. Um, and it, it happened after, you know, the, the whole uh, 2008 uh, housing disaster, basically, with the banks and all of that, um, that, you know, the government basically had to bail all the banks out. And it was just a huge mess and the whole economy just died, basically. Um, I know, I know, I personally know a lot of people that, uh, I know people, see, I see, I know people on both sides, people that made a lot of money and took advantage of those opportunities and people that, you know, got kind of destroyed by that, you know, they, they were just not in a good position. So Bitcoin, um, it's basically the way that the people are taking, you know, the power back from the government um from keeping your money with a bank you know nobody knows what the bank does with their money because once you deposit your money into the bank that's it like it's not actually at the bank like people would just imagine this vault with their money and it has their name on it like oh this is this and this person's money and it's just you know a little pocket of cash yeah. and that's definitely not how it is the banks what they actually do they take your money and they trade it in the forex market so and then they make a lot of money off of your money and then if you have your money in a in a savings account you know they pay you a very uh advantageous like very very uh i don't what's that word i'm looking for um they give you basically one percent back yeah. on your money on your they, that's what they give you your return and then what what so people you know people like to think that it's safe to keep your money in the bank but um and then the savings earning one percent return per year but what you don't see is is the inflation that's happening at you know about three percent per year. So you're actually losing two percent of your cash. Your cash is worth uh, by keeping your money in a savings account, and that's one thing that people don't see. So I know, and I I know I'm rambling on about <laughs> about this. I might have gone off topic, but yeah. So Bitcoin basically that that's what it is. It's it's a it's a way to take your power back away from the governments from them trying to control everything and putting it in the hands of the people. Yeah, because I looked into it. And again, that's a, I would say that's a perfect explanation for why people should. And again, I'm not saying, I'm not giving legal advice or trading advice. Because again, I'm, I'm not qualified to do it. And I'm, I'm, I don't believe you are either. So I'm just, No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, so, so, I, again, so yeah. just to let people out there know, we're not legally telling, we're not, we're mm. not, traders or anything we're just giving our opinions this is this is not financial yeah. advice definitely we're just not. not financial advice so i get out youtube we're cool right okay, just, we're, okay, we're just my opinion exactly <laughs> yeah yeah I, I looked into it and i'm like this is probably a pretty good way it, it seemed cool. back when i was in december of 2019 mm. it was at six thousand seven thousand dollars bitcoin mm. and i'm like huh i'm like i've seen the trend before and again this is me just looking at it as a um, 22 year old kid looking and go, Oh, look, it's down. It's must probably go back up. And then right. it went back up to 9,000. And again, I, I threw another 50 to 60 bucks into it. So I had like 160 bucks in it and I got like $300 in, in total back. I'm like, Oh, this is pretty cool. So as a, me saying, Oh gosh, the crypto game, I'm back. I'm going to go into it. I'm going to get my Coinbase. I'm going to get a little yeah. wallet, um, threw money into ripple. And then I realized that the, Crypto is like the stock market in the sense that it's yeah. up, it goes down. It depends on the news that's going on in the day. Yeah. And that, for me, it opened my eyes. So I wish I knew that a little bit earlier. But I see you even talking about on your on your show and stuff. And I hear you talk about it, like, hey, there's ups and downs. There's a bright mm. time, there's a bull flag. So for people who might not know, what would be considered, cause I see it a lot in your thing, and I figured out what it is eventually. Mm -hmm. What would be, what would like a bull flag be in the crypto market or in the market in general? Um, so I, I mean, so a bull flag is just a pattern. Yeah. Um, and there's also bear flags. So, um, and there's, there's, and these are, you know, two of many different patterns that, that happens if you're reading a chart, uh, you know, candlestick chart. 
Um, and it's uh, basically what, what it represents. So when, you, when you're trading, when you're looking at charts, you're looking for a high probability setup um, because that's the way that you, you get your edge in trading. So like a lot of people say trading is gambling and it's not, it's only gambling if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't, you know, if you don't have a plan, you know, um, but if you're trading with a plan and you have rules that you follow, you have a system that you follow, um, then you're in the long run, you're going to be uh, profitable. It's just uh, basically the law of large numbers. Um, the, the same way that, um, I don't know if you play poker, but poker is a game based on probability, which is the same thing that trading is. And and it has nothing to do just with crypto. It's it's just trading overall. So it doesn't matter what market you trade. If you know, if you learn how to trade one market, you can trade all markets. It's just about reading patterns. So uh, the way that I trade it, I do a price action. Uh, so so that's basically I trade based on how the price moves. Um, I don't like to use a lot of technical you know indicators and all this other stuff that all these uh, gurus try to sell you on. Um, I like to have a clean chart. Uh, I just look at price action. I look at patterns like a bull flag. A, so a bull flag, what it means is it's that it has a high probability of continuing up. So that means that the, that the price went up yeah. and it started consolidating. And after that consolidation period, it's most likely going back up. It's going to continue. So that, that's basically what a bull flag is. And a bear flag is the opposite of that. Was It's, you know, a, a price drop consolidation period and then it continues to drop yeah i'm yeah. again that and again for people who like me in the beginning didn't know what that even was and just went oh money here you go and then just looked at it and go boom 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 because i saw yeah. it drop in the market i'm like okay well it can't go down even more and then you realize yeah there's a bottom to the bottom i mean right. that would again i would have loved to have seen your page before that happened but again I, I sadly did not have the chance to do that and lost a couple Let's just say, I, how about this? I lost a couple. I'll just say that. Yeah, yeah. It's it's all good, man. When I hey, when I first started in in this whole thing, uh, just trading overall, I started out in the stock market and I lost a lot of money, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I I probably lost about fifteen thousand dollars before I ever even started trading, like and making money back. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, it's 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 definitely a game where you need you do need to know what you're getting yourself into. Because again, I mean. There, there's always the like you said there's always the taboo oh it's a it's it's a it's a risk a high level risk well if you right. know what you're doing it's a pro the probability is knowing what you're getting into and out of it and don't be exactly. the person that goes hey i'm gonna wait for this thing to go from 10 cents to 15 dollars right. if it goes from 10 cents to 20 cents <clears> that <throat> might be the time to get out and just yeah. come back down yeah what, what i see with a lot of new people is that they they buy when the hype is at its highest which is, you know, it's normal for, for, I guess, the, the human, the, the human mind to, to see all this hype and be like, oh my God, now I'm going to jump in. And what happens is they jump in when the prices are, when it's already taken off, you know? So, so you're getting in at, you're getting in too late. You're getting at the end. So um, that's what happens. And they end up buying high and selling low, which is the complete opposite of what you're supposed to do. You know, the, the whole name of the game is buying low and selling high. So um, when you're new and you're, you're not really paying too much attention, you're just kind of going off the hype, um, you, you tend to do the opposite just because you're, you're not really sure what you're doing. You're just kind of throwing money in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, again, I think people, again, I, I don't, you probably remember this because this has happened within, the, within this past year. That nice little drop that happened, I think it was in March or April. Oh, when, yeah, March. When, yeah, March, yeah, April, yeah. I was legitimately that night, all my money was tied up in the stock market, so I didn't have a chance to get into the crypto. But I watched mm. it drop from, like, I think it was, it was, was it 9,000? It, it might have yeah, been. Yeah, it was, it was around there, yeah. And then it, it was dropped something like from that. 9 to yeah, 3,000. To like, like 35, 3,600, yep. I, I wasn't minutes. able, to, yeah, I wasn't able to buy at, at 3,600 at the bottom because it was just so fast. Like it literally touched it and it just jumped right back above uh, 4,000, but I was able to buy at 4,000. So at 4,000, I, I was just throwing, emptying, emptying out my bank account um, into Bitcoin at that point. Um, <laughs> I was telling anyone who would listen to buy Bitcoin at 4,000 because it was going back up. You know, I don't know how many people did listen, but whoever did, they definitely made their money back. They they made what a two three hundred 
percent return in a matter of what um four months yeah and, e- and even that night it went back to like five or six thousand so they already yeah. made like so i mean if, 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 if when i see this type of drops it's sort of like what happened with the airlines over this past yeah like you see it i the second i saw it get down below eleven dollars like let's just say i'll throw the one i'm in an american airline so american airline dropped down to like eleven dollars yeah instantly threw money into it i'm like listen this is a long-term deal. I know I get it. It's whatever. I'm, I'm going to be pissed that I'm waiting however many months, but eventually airlines are going to go back up because people are going right. to start flying eventually yeah. again. And maybe it gets back to not $60 where it was, but if it gets back to 40, $45, I just made basically three times the profit right. just hopping in there. So, I mean, yeah. people no, need definitely. to see that, Hey, if it drops low, maybe that's, if it, if, not if it drops, if it drops extremely low, and you right. know it's a good thing, like Bitcoin. Like yeah. I think we thought Bitcoin wasn't going to stay, like you said, right. at, at three, four thousand. It was yeah, that, yeah. That, that that's basically called an overreaction, um, and that happens so many times uh, with Bitcoin, especially because uh, it's mostly you know people that aren't really uh, you know used to how the market moves, especially crypto. Crypto is a lot more volatile than than a regular stock market. So, um, and because the, the market cap isn't, you know, as big, you know, as the, you know, the stock market, it's, it's easier for, for the Bitcoin price to, to move around. So once they see like a 5% drop, people start panicking instantly. Then it gets a 10, you know, everybody's selling. And, and because of that, it, that's why the price moves so much. But then the, you know, the professional traders and investors, they see that. And they start buying it up because they know it's only going to go back up. So, you know, it, it it's it's tough. It's a tough thing to to get into, but uh, uh, I believe if if you if you're getting into crypto, it has to be for the long haul. You know, if you want to learn how to trade, how to day trade in the meantime, that's that's fine. But you still like I have about thirty to fifty percent of my portfolio in Bitcoin that I don't touch at all. So and it's just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah, based, and based off what I've seen, it's one of the, and again, this is just me being an observer of the past couple months, just looking at it. It seems that it's going up basically every couple, it's going, it's going up. It's not really going yeah. in a downward trend. So I would say like right. you're doing right now, there's no reason to really get out. Maybe when it goes down a little bit, toss a little bit more into it, right. stuff like that, but don't get out. Don't, unless you see like what you saw with the drop, like you see, right. hey, that's almost impossible to see. I yeah think, or always i yeah. think it is i, I, yeah. I don't get any news or anything on that yeah that. you can't you can't you can't guess those unfortunately <laughs> you know i wish you could but you really can't uh you just kind of right you gotta ride the roller coaster you gotta ride the ride the wave that's part of it and it's something you just have to kind of embrace um as you as you start dabbling in this type of market and just always have cash reserves on the side so when something like that happens you can just throw it in and then when once you you know once it starts going up as it goes up take profits out and just kind of put it back in your cash reserves so that when it happens again you're ready to jump back in you know so you would say that it's probably and again this is again you're saying this and i get i guess i'd be saying it too it's a good idea to when you see the market overreact downward mm. buy in because yeah. you know it's going to go back up and it's yeah def- has definitely there, has there been a moment where the markets reacted upwards in the past couple of months or past since you've been trading where it's gone upwards and you got out because you saw an overreaction. Upwards. Yeah. Well, the, the biggest one was, you know, at the end of 2017, uh, that was, a, that was a huge overreaction that was basically all hyped up by the media. Um, I don't think at this point we're, we're at the, the hype that we were in 2017 yet, but we're at the prices that we, that we were, you know, back then, you know, we're at to what we're at basically 11, 12,000 range. And this is without media hype. So I'm thinking if we can get over that $12,000 barrier, which is where we actually last year, we got rejected at around 12,000. Um, and we've been rejected again uh, this year at 12,000. If we can get over that hump, we can probably see, you know, between 13 to 15,000. And I think once we hit that 15,000 number, just because it's such a nice whole number that people are really going to love, it's just like a psychological thing. People see 15,000, they're like, wow, it's a beautiful number. So I think that's when media is going to start picking it up again. And that's when we can shoot for that all time high again. And I think this time we, we can crush it just because of 
uh, where we're at currently without the media hype. Yeah. And would you say, again, this is, I'm, I'm, I, I, again, I'm trying to keep this show as apolitical as possible because I'm tired of it. It's all put <laughs> the bull crap at this point. But uh, let's say this stimulus check happens to come into play and right. the $1,200 come in. Would you say that that would be, I'm assuming that would be a benefit for crypto because people are going to. Yeah. Oh, for sure, money. man. For sure. The, the $1,200, I think w when that happened, uh, the Bitcoin price went up. Um, and talking about $1,200, I still haven't got my $1,200. <laughs> like I never received it. And, uh, and I called, so I called the, the IRS and they want me to fill out all these forms and stuff and, I, and then mail it in. They don't even have like, you can't even email it or fax it or anything like that. You have to mail it in. So I was like, it's really weird. I'm like, why is the IRS so far behind in technology? But I mean, either way, yeah. Definitely, I, I believe if, if we get another stimulus check, it's, it's definitely go going to affect the price in a good way. And also with um, the election coming up, yeah. I know we don't want to talk about politics, but um, it's it's going to be a scary time, I think, for the market overall, for the stock market. Um, so people will probably be going into, into safe havens, so to speak, like silver and gold and Bitcoin, it will be another one that, that people will be jumping into. So if you if you haven't noticed by now, silver and gold are at all time highs. And at the same time, Bitcoin's also been pushing up. So I think those three are kind of correlating a bit. Let's see if that continues. Yeah. And, if it, and again, speaking of gold and speaking of all that lovely stuff, the coin that I happen to be and the one I keep steadily bringing up, they keep saying, oh, it's going to be back by gold soon. And I just keep looking and I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to throw more money into it. And then I keep saying, oh, it's not happening. Is it, on your opinion of trading of cryptocurrency, do you, you've said you've heard this whole little ripple story, but I mean, this whole little ripple story before. What Man. do you think the, the outcome is? If, is there a chance they get back? Do you believe there's a chance to get back by gold? I, I, Man, I've heard so many stories about Ripple and, and Ripple's always moved on these, um, these tales, <laughs> basically that they've been telling to the public all the time that it hasn't, I haven't really seen anything actually happen. I've heard a lot of stories and rumors and, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff, but I don't know, man, I really haven't seen anything, you know, ever actually happen. The price just, the, the, ripple price just moves off, off of news off of the rumor you know um so I, I don't know man uh it's a very it is a very popular coin so it's going to move just because of its popularity i believe so um you know anytime if if bitcoin goes up ripple's gonna go up as well because what happens is you know uh more you know people that aren't, aren't too in tune with the market that they're just jumping in what you do is you know you open up coinbase you look at bitcoin it's you know eleven thousand, and you look at you know uh ripple which is 20 something cents yeah. and you're like oh i'll just invest in ripple because it's gonna go up to the same price as bitcoin you know so in their head it's gonna make sense but that's it's never gonna happen to go up that far that far up yeah i love to say this i don't want listen hey ripple people if you hear me i don't want you to go up to ten thousand eleven thousand that'd be great but just go to like ten dollars and i can call it a day i can open yeah it. that but would like, be insane yeah it, it's it, it's an insane market it's just I, I look at it and again i i'm starting to do this thing now and again people i don't care if you i don't care if you guys crypto people out there hear me um i'm putting probably a couple bucks into every different type of coin and just hoping that <laughs> If one of them takes off, just you throw some money into that. Well, that's, I mean, I, I did that with, um, I think it was OMG coin, whatever that thing was. Yeah, OMG, yeah. Right when it came out and it, when it went from a dollar to like 450 for that one night, I got <laughs> pretty lucky on that one. I literally jumped out. I'm like, yes. And I just walked out like a champion. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. That's what I call playing the lottery, man. You just throw <laughs> throw throw money at, at everything. Something's got to give, right? <laughs> yeah, it's insane. But again, I, and it, that's another thing. It seems that when Bitcoin moves, almost every other coin moves with it in that direction, whether it be up yeah. or whether it be down. Is there a reason or a correlation behind that? Or is it just like, it's yeah, man. Popularity? I mean, yeah. I mean, every, everything, everything follows Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin is the king of this market. It, it, and it's basically the, how I like to compare it. If you're familiar with the stock market is, you know, you kind of compare it with the S and P 500. 
um, it's the same thing. You know, the, the way, however, the S and P 500 moves is how the, the entire market is basically moving. So Bitcoin is, is very similar in that aspect that, um, however it moves is how the market's going to move. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the thing is when it's really, when it's moving a lot, um, a lot of the money goes from the altcoins into Bitcoin because people want to catch that move. And then when people start to take profits, then it moves out of Bitcoin into the out, altcoin market. You know what I mean? So it has a little, if, if you can catch that pattern and you can time it right, you can definitely make money just going into altcoins and in, and back into Bitcoin. Um, you just you just have to be able to really be paying attention and, and to really be able to catch those moves. Yeah, that makes sense. I and mean, again, that's what I'm, I've been trying to ch check that more and more now as I've been watching. Cause again, I want to make money. We all want to make money at the end of the day. So I've been of checking course. that out as much as possible. And again, then at those YouTube nights at 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, you go, XRP is going to hit $15,000. Watch this video and you'll yeah. see. And I'm just like, <gasps> and then I watch. I go, this is so stupid. And then I leave. I'm like, that's never going to happen. Yeah, that's just clickbait, man. That's all BS, dude. Like, all those dudes, half of those dudes, first of all, don't know what they're talking about most yeah. of the time. Um, they're just saying the most random stuff ever. Um, so yeah, you just, you gotta, you just gotta make sure any, anyone on YouTube, you take it with a grain of salt, anything you hear, you know, from anyone on YouTube. Yeah. So you, even if they're verified guys, even if they're verified, they're still, oh, yeah. there's still a likely chance that they don't know what they're talking about. Oh yeah. I guess if they know what they're talking about, would they really be talking to you about it? I, I mean, that right. would, like, it, it, like, especially the big, like, they're going to keep a little bit of their secrets to themselves. They're not going right. to tell you what the next big coin is until after the coin jumps. Right. Um, on yeah, that as they're, well. They're, yeah, usually they're trying to pump up a coin is what they're trying to do. Sadly, XRP will never pump up in my <laughs> It's never going to do it for me. But, um, <laughs> well, if, if there was, again, Bitcoin is the rave. Everybody loves that coin. Everybody knows that coin. It even goes down on the Fox News business channel when you yeah. see what it goes by, yeah. you see the ticker for it. What yeah. would you say would be, in your opinion, that other coin? If you could pick, an, if, in your opinion, what would the other coin be? You'd be like, oh, you know, I like this one too. I like when this one does stuff. Man, honestly, man, I don't, I don't trade a lot of coins because I'm, I'm a believer in, um, you know, if you just focus on a handful of coins at a time and you really learn their patterns, you can just print money because, you know, you, if once you, you watch it long enough and you learn how it moves, you know, all the points of interest that people are selling and buying at, you can coins you don't need to you know kind of uh play the lotto with with 50 different coins you know what i mean um i i see i see a lot of people like to over trade and just jump into a bunch of different coins the, the, when i first got into the market i Oop, i think we lost you hold on I, um you're frozen right now just to let you know uh we may have lost him i don't know please don't die crazy um so well Hold on. I I think my, my, my hulk I, I, some, uh, are you good still yeah yeah i, I see I you. Have, you you disappeared for a second though yeah, i don't know what the heck just happened we're still that was weird guys yeah, it's, that, it's, it still shows us recording that's weird yeah, that was weird i can't get you froze and then i was like this and all of a sudden i was gone out of the meeting and then it Zoom oh. got me back into the meeting, and I'm like, I'm just sitting here, like, what is going yeah, on? Yeah, I don't know. You disappeared for a second, and then you came right back. That was weird. Um, yeah. but but yeah, but if I had to, if I had to give out some coins, um, I I always suggest investing in 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 you know top ten coins, um, just to be safe, because everything else, it's it's just kind of you know, unless you're really watching it, it's it's kind of up in the air. It's kind of a gamble. Um, but one thing that I do suggest people is Ethereum, um, which is basically the, the second biggest, uh, coin, uh, when, when it goes into market cap, um, because it has, it's a platform that has a lot of other coins built on it. You know what I mean? The, the kind of the same way that Bitcoin works, um, Ethereum has like, I know, I know, uh, one that's w real popular right now is Chainlink that just made yeah. its way into the, like the top 10 uh, coins as far as market cap. Um, and Chainlink is built on Ethereum, you know? So, um, 
So I believe Ethereum in 2017, the high it went up to was 1400. I think it could hit that again and beyond. Um, so that's definitely one that I'm invested in. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with XRP. I know, I know you love XRP. So I, I'm also invested long-term in XRP. I'm invested long-term in Litecoin, um, ADA, Cardano. Uh, I, I do have a, a lot of different coins, but they're just long-term holds. It's not some, it's not, they're not stuff that I day trade. You know what I mean? So anytime I see a project that I like, you know, I, I do my research on the company, on what it's solving, what what type of problem it's solving. And if it's something I believe in, then then I'll put some money on it, you know, but it's not, it's, that's always long-term. It's not something that I'm going to uh, day trade usually, you know? That makes sense. And, and again, I will say this, my favorite coin, the one that I first, the one that I first ever like really looked into and just to have fun with was probably Dogecoin. And that's, I know oh yeah, it's, Doge. It's, it's I will say this. It was a funny coin. And then I realized that you can actually, if you play your cards right, you can make some money. Yeah, on man, man. If you, if you look at it, I'll pull up the chart right now. If you look at it, because I've actually traded this coin several times. Um, you just got to buy in in the right area. You can't buy in once it took off already. Cause you got, you're, you're going to get dumped on. But if you look at it right now, the area that, that you would want to buy, and this is a free trade for you guys. Um, it's, uh, around, 26 satoshis from so i would say between 22 to 26 satoshis is where i would enter um anywhere in that area and just have a stop loss under 22 satoshis so um if it goes below that you just kind of want to get out you know you want to cut your losses there um but if you buy within that range you have a high probability of it going up to at least around 32 uh, around 32 satoshis with, I mean, it's not huge, but it's profits, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Especially when it's something that's that cheap, you, you're going to be able to get a lot of, and if you're lucky, it might just give you a nice little pump up to 60 and you'll double your money. Yeah. And, and when like you look, it, at, it did that recently. So, and when you look at that, you go, and again, for people who like, especially the, the younger traders that like to go into, when you see, you get like a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, a million you know, of those, you're like, Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Look, look how many, um, those yeah. Are, like, and that's also like, if, so if you get done that well, when you look at it, that's pretty cool for a person who sees they have all oh, how many I have. Yeah. So that yeah. Means yeah. Yeah. No, definitely, man. If you, and if, like I said, if you look at the chart, it's pumped several times every now and then it, it just, you know, it just takes off and it goes to like a hundred Satoshi. So imagine if you buy at 25 and it goes up to a hundred, you just tripled your money. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, and it, it recently pumped. There is some sort of hype on Twitter about it and it went up to 60 satoshi so if you would have bought in that section where I, where i mentioned around the 25 range um you would have doubled your money that one day <laughs> yes yeah, and, and think and for people who don't know it's it was literally a joke coin it was yeah. it was just like, yeah it's a meme yeah, yeah it's, it's a meme coin. it's a meme yep it's, it's unbelievable that a meme had more traction than my amazing XRP. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to keep bringing that. I, I, that. From now on in my shows, even my political stuff, I'm going to bring, and XRP is down today. <laughs> it's <laughs> down today, like always. Yeah, man, that the XRP chart is, it's, it's so funny because in 2017, the same thing happened. Everybody gave up on XRP and, and like, finally one day it just decided to take off when like almost everybody had given up on it like it literally went let me see um it went two years <laughs> i think oh, from God. 2015 from 2015 it dropped all the way let me see what day january 2015 it dropped all the way until march 2017 so that was a two-year <laughs> a two-year uh holding for anyone that was holding a bag of xrp they had to wait two years and if you waited that long you definitely made your money because it went all the way up to what like three something three dollars something it went to like 338 or something it might even be three it, it was in the mid threes and i was like oh good yeah. i'm like hey i'm gonna catch that and then i realized yeah. that you don't just catch that you gotta just wait for it yeah you just gotta wait for it so right now it's in that same stage where it's just sleeping and it's going to probably stay like that until everybody just finally starts giving up on it. 
and that's when it's going to take off. That's just how it is, man. Public service announcement. Everybody give up on it right now. Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how it is, man. I don't know why. That's just how it's always been. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, it, I will say it's a crazy market. It's a crazy time of life we live in. Now, again, I will say this. It seems that as though the quarantine stuff, everything with that effect, helped the Oh, guys, this is the third time I record this. The first time I uh, had my mic muted the whole time. The second time I kept, you see how my face, how the, how the whole screen is a video cam? I kept that the whole time so you guys couldn't see nothing. Third time's a charm, though. Let's get right into it. Question of the day. Remember, guys, every video we will have a random question about something in the video. The question will always be in a random area of the video like it is right now. Uh, find the question and find the answer. Post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month membership to our trading room. Winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes, guys. 30 is the magic number, guys. Guys, guys, what am I? caught it this time right <laughs> i left my face on the video again i am just on another level today um so guys we need over 30 likes on the videos look at these videos right here from last week 29 likes 21 likes 21 likes 18 likes 24 likes guys these five videos if we hit over 30 likes on these five then i will do a giveaway on each of them so that's five different opportunities to win your free month Plus, this video will be another giveaway. Uh, so that's six opportunities to win a, a free giveaway once we get over 30 likes, guys. Let's push for that 30. Let's do it. I know y'all could do it. All right, so let's jump into the question of the day. It is, what was your favorite part of this podcast? That's it. Very simple, guys. Just answer that. Leave it in the comments. Follow us. Uh, like the video. Very important. And that's basically it, guys. Um, appreciate y'all. Peace and love. One second. I don't know where my mouse is right now. Here it is. All right. I'm out. I'm out of here. I'm done with this. Crypto market in a sense because people couldn't yeah. really go out and do the, the, the businesses weren't open and right. people couldn't go down to the stock market and trade. So people were in their houses and they're like, oh, what's this? It's cryptocurrency. So right. I'm assuming that had a pretty good effect on it too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. People have had a, a lot more time to, you know, uh, learn and do their research, and 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 another thing is, uh, it's awakened people to to figure out how to kind of fend for themselves yeah. and make money, you know, investing their money, um, because I I feel like most people have just kind of been sleepwalking through life feeling like they're working a safe job and then when this whole thing hit like it made people realize like wow i'm not safe you know how many people are unemployed right now you know yeah unbelievable um so what and, and the, the final thing is that there's the stock market there's crypto which one in your opinion would you feel i guess not safer in but which one would you feel like hey this one's going to make me the better profit in your opinion which one would you say hey, I, i'm recommending something to somebody just off of your recommendation right where um, would you think that would be the best way to go so i mean it's it depends how conservative the person is is usually what i what i say um so crypto like when when anyone that wants to join crypto i always tell them look it has to be an amount that you're willing to 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 go to zero with like something you have to put because there's no there's no timetable for this, you know. Um, it has to be something that you're comfortable, comfortable, you know, just kind of putting in and just leaving it for a few years, and you might get really, really good returns. Um, and then on the other hand, the stock market, it's kind of a safer, safer bet because uh, you can just kind of like if you know absolutely nothing about the stock market, you could just put your money into the S&P 500. And in the past, you know, 50, 80 years, whatever it is, um, it's returned and on average 8 to 10% per year. So um, if you want 8% return per year on your money, you know, instead of instead of putting your money into a savings account, just throw it in the throw it on in the S&P 500. And it's going to return you 8 to 10% per year. If you want if you want to, if you're feeling, feeling a little more risky, then throw your money in Bitcoin and 
it it'll return what it returns you know we don't know <laughs> yeah, depending on the, the, the depending on the be, year <laughs> yeah it could it could give you you know a, a thousand percent return or zero you know <laughs> but or well negative 100 but uh no it, it, i don't think it'll ever go to zero so i i've kind of taken that out of the equation um but you could definitely lose 20 to, to 50 percent in a year you know yeah, I mean, it's, it's the risk. And again, you're hoping for the long-term benefits from putting just money in. It's, I mean, again, I would say it's, in my opinion, what I've been doing, it seems better than a savings. Because again, savings, you're only going to get 1%. In some banks, right. they don't even give you anything. They just go, yeah. hey, we're just going to hold your money and you're going to actually lose 3% instead of- Yeah, with the, in with the interest rate cuts, yeah. Some banks aren't even giving any money, man. They're giving less. Most banks are giving less than 1%, which is crazy to me. But hey, you know. Yeah, we give them um, money and they walk around with it and then they give us nothing back. They, so just, yeah, they spend all that money. They, it's not sitting in the bank. They're spending all that money. If you have to make like a big withdrawal, you have to call in advance to, to be able to do that. If not, like they'll, they'll tell you that like we don't have that money in the bank, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it's crazy, man. It, it is. It, it's crazy. It, again, it, for people who don't really realize, people who play video games and are robbing banks and Red Dead Redemption 2 and stuff like that, the money's not like that. That's sitting there right. in gold bars and cash. Right, all those, exactly. So you got to yeah, go yeah. and do there's, this little bank transaction. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely no gold bars in any banks. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's pretty much no gold anywhere in banks in general anymore. So, definitely not, definitely not. And that's why we got to back XRP with with gold, so we can make. It <laughs> yeah, man. Um, uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with XRP. I mean, I, you know. <laughs> hopefully, this whole little conversation, people go, like, "Oh my goodness, let's go buy into it." And I'm a happy person at the end of the day. When it goes up. But again, I don't at this point. I'm hoping it all goes well. Crypto seems to be the market where I'm enjoying myself and right now I'm making, I, I, let's, say, let's just say this. I've made more profits in crypto than I have in the market, the stock market. Yeah. So I'm seeing it. That's my opinion, guys. That's where I've come from anecdotally. I, I'm assuming you as well in the most, at least with your trading on this, you seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah. I mean, where I made the, where I made the most, what actually got me really started with everything was um because i was i was just throwing money into the stock market and and losing it basically i was just giving it away to other people and then uh, i actually got into crypto by mistake um so i had looked at it back in like 2011 mm -hmm. and i couldn't figure out back then or there was also not as it wasn't as advanced as it is today so it was a lot you know uh it was more difficult to kind of get into it and then back around like 2015, I believe it was 2014, 15. Um, I was trying. So, so the way I got into it, I was trying to. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Bovada, which is uh, yeah. basically a gambling site. So <laughs> I was, I was trying to. Back then, I was, I was betting on games. So, uh, so you know, I love uh, football, basketball. So I would bet on games. Uh, for some reason, my credit card couldn't go through. Um, and I, I think it was because, you know, it was a gambling site. I don't know, but I couldn't, I couldn't make the transaction. So uh, the only other way for me to make the transaction was through Bitcoin. So that's when I went down that rabbit hole of how to buy Bitcoins just so that I could transfer it over to the site so I could bet on a game. Um, I don't know what happened. Like uh, I kind of, uh, I, I, I figured it out but I didn't figure it out at the same time. I couldn't figure out how to move the money. I don't know. I just remember I left the money in there. And then uh, months later, I opened the app again. I was like, what is this app? Coinbase, what is this? I remember looking at it. I was like, Coinbase wallet. Like, what is this app? I opened it up and I had like a thousand dollars in it. And I had only put in like 200 or something like that. And I was like, how did I get a thousand dollars? You know what I mean? And i and then I really started doing my research and that's when I really like, I was like, wow, like that's insane. So that's when I started, I, I started buying more crypto. And I think when I bought Bitcoin, the first time I bought it, it was around like five, four or $500. And great. I, I wrote, I rode that baby all the way up to 20,000. <laughs> and and I, I took, I was taking profits along the way. I think I ended up selling the majority of mines once it got back down to like around 15. And, um, and yeah, man. And, and I, and I, I was able to take all those profits and, you know, really start trading and doing different things and, you know, with that. So, yeah.
Well, that's awesome. That's a, that's a great story to hear. And plus, it worked out for you. Well, you, you yeah. cut the Bitcoin wave and you wrote it all the way up and then you yeah. took it down slowly and made a nice profit from it. Yep. Yeah, man. It, it was awesome, man. And and anytime it dips, I'm I'm always buying. So yeah. Well, hopefully, I'll have enough money to, from this nice little twelve hundred dollar check to buy some. More <laughs> yeah, so we'll see man, how it definitely. goes. Um, I think that's all the time we have for today. But again, it was a great pleasure to have you on. I, I've been talking with you on DMs privately about like this yeah. whole crypto stuff to begin with. So it was great talking to you face to face. Um, yeah, before, man. Before we finish up, where is the best place again to find you on YouTube, Instagram, and your um, yeah. Discord. Yeah. So, uh, Instagram is, is where we get, we, we can answer the most messages like pretty easily, uh, because of the way they have it set up. So you can send us DMS, uh, you can follow us at, uh, Bitcoin dot daily. Um, we also have, we have, we have, we have multiple pages, but that's the main one. Um, and then on YouTube, just search up Bitcoin daily. And, uh, we, we've been posting content, you know, every day, five days a week, um and we're going to continue doing so um you know tutorials and market analysis uh and we also just started i don't think anyone else is doing this or maybe so but i'm i haven't really heard of them uh but we just started doing live streams on twitch oh. so uh and that's twitch.tv backslash bitcoin j um and uh basically what we do probably like two or three times a week we do a live stream where we do an entire market analysis and we, we do a live Q and a with anyone that's with us in the chat. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, again, that will all be in the description below go check it out again. Thank you so much for coming on. It was a pleasure having you on. Now I have a little bit more insight of how I'm going to trade a little bit. Hopefully yeah. XRP shows up. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how that goes. And remember guys, always, always, always keep it classy. <laughs>